Heidi, 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 ho. Stark in here. Let's make some lights. Light, 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 light. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. A stream. Yo, and it works. <laughs> there it is. One more time. Oh, man. This is... Uh, like how how, fa how fast can you respond and uh, come up with some new techniques and ideas? Yeah. Right. <sighs> you okay? All right. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, thanks again, man, picking up this fumble. Let's not fuck it up and uh, let's remember to save it this time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's remember to save it for all these uh, fans out there. There goes my phone. This is all shit. <laughs> well, there we guys have it. Thank you guys for uh, joining Chatting with Zim. Once again, we're having it. And unbelievable uh, host here, uh, Mr. Tom, TS Art Design, CEO of Dreambox Comics. Once again, um, welcome back, my friend, all the way from the Netherlands. Always a pleasure. Uh, once again, guys, uh, Shikari Wallace, he has been rescheduled. And uh, we'll definitely get him back on for you guys that uh, that seen his work. Uh, definitely make sure you guys are following. If you're not following, then you're fucking up. Your 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 <laughs> your art skills increase that much better if you guys follow Shikari Wallace. Trust me, uh, he doesn't disappoint. So that being said, all the way from the Netherlands, my boy Tom. Once again, thank you, bro. Uh, thank you too for your patience. A lot, of weird stuff. a lot of weird stuff going on lately. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, hope, dude. Hope all the issues get solved soon. Let's see. Shout out to uh, Tim Smith, artist. Alinch, <laughs> 18. Joe Jose R.D. or Joe Zerd. Neon Hayes, White Shadow. Ron, John, thank you guys for tuning in. And I am fucking a little bit buzzing, man. I ain't going to lie, bro. Had about four or five beers with my, my, my dinner, man. So, um, No, I didn't. I told, I, I told you in the chat before, like, uh, today was time for family, for friends, people, uh, yeah, my kids, my um uh, people that are close to my heart and they all needed my time so didn't spend that much time on art but I see so many people struggling uh, during the whole coronavirus then uh, it's time to 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 set your priorities right in the end no for sure dude it's uh it's a bunch of bullshit going on uh you know what I mean it's it's fucking and I'm not Normally, never miss an appointment. Now it was like with I was ten minutes late, and that's definitely not something <laughs> for me. But I was like, shit, how the fuck am I, am I going to solve all these things? But yeah, yeah, we we a lot of people thought that you you bailed on me. I'm like, no, TSR design doesn't bail on the Zim man, not at all, on anybody. <sighs> But uh, definitely. No, uh, yeah, yeah. If if I if I start ignoring you, you really need to to be really nasty towards me, or uh, or or I I I feel up front that you're you're trying to get something from me, but you never want to invest, and then I'm done as well. You heard that, folks. Is, yeah, well, it, 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 no, it is. It is like that in the end. It, so many people are insecure and they try to get something from you, 
or they try to be really, really, really nice, so nice that <laughs> you're you're starting to wonder, like, why the fuck are you doing that? That doesn't work. It, it doesn't work like that in the end. Uh, you need to be genuine, and uh, we're all making art, but and, and let that part speak, not trying to be friends. In the end, friends will come. Yeah, for sure. Guess hearing this, wise words. Make sure you have taking some notes. Mm. Wise words so, from uh, a guy that's trying to relax right now <laughs> with a beer and a smoke because I've been, had enough to put today. <laughs> it's a, it, it was one of them days, huh? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Fucking nice. Um, for you guys that don't know, uh, TSR Design is uh, definitely does some does some amazing work, man. Very detailed in his work. Uh, also, you know, he did some stuff for the uh, Upper Deck Marvel Premiere 2019. Uh, some awesome little highlights. Uh, hey, bro, I seen that you're doing the uh, the whole uh, artist. Give me the uh, remember the the six figures or the six fan art stuff that's going on around right now. Yeah, I still have that one on my plate to have it finished, but working on some couple other stuff too, and some things I show, some some I don't. Yeah, you have some. Sometimes you have customers' privacy as well, and you don't show everything uh, that you're actually creating. And uh, there are plenty of people that are not uh, confident enough about their own work, and they only uh, show stuff that is really good enough for their standards. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thanks, lady. Uh, and that's uh <laughs> that's definitely some of those, right? That's what I was reading. We're definitely going to get to that a little bit later. Uh there was a show that we did back what, like a few weeks ago. Um and that one that one was lost in time. So uh for every year. No, that was probably my mistake because I didn't save it. No, it's all right, or man. It's, least, it's cool. I, yeah, at least I didn't get the option to save it. Normally, you can save them uh, to your uh, profile, and you can uh, download it to put on YouTube. That's what I yeah. intended. Well, we'll give it a shot this time. Now, it, it happens, man. It's cool. It's not the first time. It's not the last time. And uh, it's definitely once for the sands of time, or should I say the guardian of time. Hey, oh. <laughs> I take you inside. Because I don't smoke, I I don't smoke inside actually. Good, 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 good. My house and is that, just as neat, just just as neat as my work. <laughs> fuck yeah! Oh. Always, always, always something good hey. to have on the plate. Yes. Let me. Did I did I just disappear? Ah uh, yeah, you did. Ah, uh, there I am again. So back inside. I had a crazy idea to mix up one of my characters with a symbiote, so I was just trying to get my line work clean. Something I checked uh, uh, started yesterday, and it's more a fun thing to do because I seriously want to keep doing stuff that that really is close to how I feel and my my mindset. Next to all the uh, what you do as assignments, because yeah, that can drain you as well. Because you always need to pay attention to a lot of things. Sometimes you just need to go and do something that is really close to your heart. For sure. Hey, you see that little uh, the real Zim Zimma? I just posted your name. Yeah. Click, click on that, and then press pin comment. Click on that comment and then press pin comment. And that'll go Can ahead. Can I do and, that? Yeah, yeah. You're you're definitely the host, so you're 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 able to do oh, that. Oh, I am the host now. Now I just clicked on it. <laughs> and <It's>, uh, <laughs> there you go, pin. So that's how you do it. No. I got some really cool news, but I don't. Uh, I I got some really cool artists drawing my characters too. Don't, don't tease. 
Don't tease. <laughs> yeah, I like teasing. <laughs> 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 it's 28. I, I, need, going on, I, need, I need to I need to see some progress and then I will uh, shout it out too. But there's just a, a lot of busy guys that uh, yeah, some have like two months uh, a waiting list. Some have a year waiting list. So you need to be careful when to put out stuff what's coming and what not but if you if if the, for those who are patient and i'm pretty patient by myself as well you get rewarded in the end cool well like i said man oh, always teasing us and and and, and, and i don't like it uh, I don't yeah, like it. Always, always teasing. Well, I think I'm pretty uh, quick with sharing everything that is going on too, and I like to give some, uh, yeah, information. Now we and get and, it, and we get it. But you can't always share everything. Yeah, yeah. You you know up front because they can be. Things that delay stuff as well. So how did you? Anyway. Uh, well, what made you decide to get into this uh, whole drawing really quick, man? This whole uh, uh, whatever challenge is going on right now. That's hot. Where you know they they send some fan art. The the six what, characters what? fan art. Oh, I did come. Uh, I saw so many things, and I'm like, hey, I I why. Let's do that because I already had uh, something, uh, yeah, a good feeling with it, an image in my head. Like, I've been asked to draw certain characters so many times uh, where you just couldn't because you got other ideas to and uh, commissions to do and uh, keep Dreambox running. Uh, so you need to yeah, deny a lot of requests too. And I, normally I don't draw free stuff anymore, but this was like, hey, let's give uh, all the fans the opportunity to, to uh, give some feedback on, on what they thought would be uh, cool. And yeah, with this thing, I was like, just go for it. No, for sure, dude. Good stuff. I, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't jumped on the bandwagon, so at least not yet. Still waiting it out. Well, what I've learned is, the, if, if you don't have a good feeling with something, don't do it. It will only affect the quality of your work. And some pieces you can be satisfied with a couple of hours, but I'm not easily satisfied with my work and the better you get yourself you will be more critical to what you see around you as well and i've been uh i got feedback on that to like hey tom you <laughs> can be hypercritical and i'm like yeah but sure you need to uh, if you if you don't set the bar higher uh, each couple of months you won't grow either and that's something that uh, if you have things you want to achieve you just do that if it, it, it's okay that you, if you just want to do this for fun that's cool too but if you want to make a living out of it fully yeah you yeah. just need to do that kind of stuff and and i do see people that struggle a lot and a lot and i don't uh, I I do like to be supportive towards others, but when you don't put out that much work anymore, or you don't grow for a whole year long, at, at a certain moment people will lose interest where they are growing themselves, and that's not being an asshole or uh, being arrogant. It's just being realistic. Yeah. And that's something well, that you need. To, that's something you need to deal with, too. Like the better you get, the more people that start 
getting a different mindset than you too, and uh, yeah. you see new people uh, being attracted uh, that have better quality art, and you see people that you, yeah, just need to say politely, okay, now it's uh, maybe time to just go your own way, both. No, I feel that, dude. Well, re regardless of that, man, aw awesome work. Um, definitely love that little spawn you throw in there. The Phoenix, I was not expecting that. So sick, sick <laughs> job on that. Yeah, that's dope, dude, the Phoenix. Yeah, I, was I, was like, oh, doubting, I, was, I was doubting for, uh, for, for a while, especially with the last two, which ones I would be drawing. But it's kind of cool that I put in female characters too, but because you don't see me draw that uh, much, but I know I, because of one certain person, uh, I got my female proportions a lot better, and it's something that really satisfied me. And I think the, uh, the woman for that as well mm -hmm. meant a lot yeah. to me. Sometimes you need to do stuff that you don't draw that much to grow with your art. For sure. And also, uh, awesome piece. Uh, that that was something you were working on when we last talked, but you finally got it done. So the uh, villain for Rick Wilkinson, Wilkinson art. <laughs> yeah, you might not. I, I, me and Rick are on really good terms, even though uh, we don't we don't know each other that long. But I've been a huge fan of his work for maybe a couple of years now. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think so. But we kind of start getting more and more interested in each other like the last half year, I guess, a couple months. Yeah. And, and yeah. be drawing each other. But he's a really good artist as well. And huge respect. But also experienced. Uh, and I think we learn a lot from each other and we inspire each other. And that's the most in, in, important thing, uh, I guess, to grow with your own art as well. When you, yeah. when you, yeah, but really cool guy. No, that, that's pretty cool. And it's definitely true, man. Uh, growing as an artist, it's something I always recommend to, to any artist, you know, uh, start collaborating with people, man. There's too many artists with a lot of talent. And uh, definitely find not somebody you just vibe with, but definitely try to somebody that could bring something to the table. So, for example, if you're an artist, you pencil, you know, just talk yeah. to some inkers, talk to some colorists, you know, and just surround yourself with similar like people, man. That's that that's really the, well, the, the real recipe here. Well, for me, the most important thing, too, is like if you can't, collaborate with another artist and you can't uh, exchange ideas, especially for those who just started, how would you be able to satisfy a customer? Because you can't always do what you want. You need to implement the ideas of what is being asked to, even though, of course, it needs to be your own work. But if somebody asks you something to draw, <laughs> and you can't communicate properly and you don't listen to what the other has to say and you don't see their point of views, well, you're never uh, gonna be able to sell your work either. No, for sure. You got any, uh, any crazy stories about people like that that don't know what the hell they want? Oh, yeah. I, I, I've done a, a lot of uh, um, illustrations lately that w there was a huge like how do you yeah connection between the writer and me and uh, then it flows out and then you can both be happy but I've seen a younger writer that just started a book and wanted a cover from me but every time I again feedback or I ask for something and you don't even know what you want yourself, it gets a lot harder to get stuff on paper. But I don't have a 
problem with that if it's just marginal information i i come up with something but you can't complain afterwards either if you don't actually uh are clear with your ideas as well yeah very and very I, i had to I, i had to tell that person like okay if you don't really know what you want and you never have time for something that you want to you're asking for something you want to cover uh, you want to have certain characters being drawn but uh you don't really know uh you can't even describe what you want how yeah. will somebody else be able to put it on paper for you definitely it's i think it's all in the details it works both both ways in the end for sure your your screen is looking a little cloudy there there we go you know what that was no a fucking fly <laughs> get out of here how serious it was in front of my i was like hey what the... what the hell <laughs> that's cool we're getting a close up of the fly and shit no but uh... <laughs> yeah the fly's ass actually the fly's ass and shit just great just great no, but, I, wanna... I, I, <laughs> but like what you asked uh, uh some people that don't know what they want or are not clear and not confident themselves it is really hard to keep understanding and getting the best effort out of yourself too and i had to uh tell certain people like hey, if i i come up with a couple of uh thumbnails and it doesn't match your ideas because you don't respond or give clarity about the questions i ask Qu questioning stuff is important too i rather stop investing uh, because if you are yeah there it is yeah hey, you saw you. it <laughs> It hurt you. <laughs> like, what you talking shit for? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, but no, definitely, you, I, no, it, it, it's I know, I know what I want. I know what I, I want to achieve. I want to put my best effort on paper. But if somebody else doesn't know what he want or she wants, I can give it my best shot. But if you're still not satisfied and you don't know what you want yourself to, it is really hard to collaborate. And that's something that, yeah, artists amongst each other with ideas that may be kind of similar or attract. It's good practice. Yeah, no, and uh, you know, I definitely, I, I think it's something I really don't talk to artists about, you know. But as far as like that, I, I've asked a few here and there, but usually when yeah. I take commissions, you know, the the person's. They know what they want, and those are usually the best customers. You know, the best clients and shit. Uh, I've had a couple of words. Know, like, if they know what they want, yeah, yeah. yeah I, ha I I had a couple where they're like, oh well, I want this and I want that, and I I would tell them, I would be straight out. I'm like, hey, get your vision, know what you know what your vision is, and then once you have it, then send me the idea, send me what you want. And uh, we'll we'll talk price and and details a little later. But you know, for an artist, details is key. People remember that a vision you got to have it. You you got to know what you want. You can't. You know, I mean, you could, but it's just frustrating to for us to figure out exactly what it is you want. We're not mind readers, so. Well, uh, I do a lot with gut feeling, and uh, but. <laughs> You can yeah. spoil someone with it as well. <laughs> If you can't communicate properly, it, it makes you make it a lot harder on yourself. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I remember I had this one uh, woman who wanted something for her husband, and uh, she liked the Halo game. So I'm, she's like, "Oh, I want a little war scene." I'm like, "Okay, that's fine." Um, yeah. You know, I asked her. I'm like, "So, what about Halo? You know, who's your husband's favorite character? You know, maybe add him in there." I, you know, she she didn't know. Uh, told her to call call me back. Never called me back. So I'm like, "Yeah, easier for me." Well, 
I look. Yeah, I've had people that say said stuff to that they wanted, and never heard of them for half a year. I just wait silently, and some they come back. But uh, and, and and some they are really enthusiastic, but they never told it. So silent people and silent followers can have a, a value as well. And some don't take you serious and say the same stupid thing like what you weren't for. It's so, so yeah, you need to get to learn from your experience in the end. For sure. See, if, I, if somebody offers me for an existing work half the price that I asked for, I don't take you serious. I, I, I experienced that before as well. I'm like, okay, uh, if I want to have a job done by you, uh, and I would <laughs> offer you how, how would you freaking respond to that? <laughs> and and some do take you serious, and they're like, ah, oh, Tom, I know your work, and you just, I only want to have this and that, and you go your own way, and then I show that I won't disappoint. But to... Have that security with yourself and that confidence. And uh, I think you need to put out a lot of stuff too and show what you're capable of. No, for sure. And uh, let, let's uh, let's roll the ball a little bit more. You know, aside from you doing the, uh, the six fan art pieces, you're also fucking busy working with uh, that cover illustrations for Miranda. Miranda, yep. Rem, I can't pronounce her last name. Remerswai? Remerswai. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I butchered that name. It's Dutch. Shit. I, I've noticed I, I'm starting to hate, you know, all these fucking UK, fucking the East fucking side of the world type names and shit. I can't pronounce them. <laughs> We've had fun about my last na uh, name last time already. <laughs> oh, fuck, man! You need I need like a second tongue for that shit. You know? <laughs> no, so you've been busy with that too, bro. And uh, that's uh, all. Them pieces are looking fucking dope uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that war actually challenged it for me because it was also out of the sight, outside the box, mm -hmm. and but it improved. It was most of them, except the cover. They are uh, like five and a half by eight inch, about, and and it improved my backgrounds a lot. Uh, they're still working on uh, improving the whole uh, writings, but the, the book itself is done. I'm working on the last images, and I would really want to nail the uh, the cover as well. But I already told, like, I know this one is kind of different from what I normally do, and I know up front, like, okay, that is going to cost me a little bit more time, and then I take my time for it, for, for getting the best result. And you need to know when to really push and you need to know uh, when, you, when you're patient, when you work. And many pe there are plenty of people just that just work on one piece and only can focus on one thing at a time. If, if you are getting more comfortable, you can do like five, six, seven pieces at, at the same time and... Uh, Hey, at that point, I'm going to just call you the fucking Terminator, man. <laughs> well, not like that. I know there are guys around that that uh, can put out even way more, way more work than I am. And, and I know why, because they are more experienced. I only uh, do this for my profession. Uh... Officially September 2017. That's when I oh, officially okay. started for a profession. But there are guys ar around that do this for like ten, tens of years, or, or some draw their whole life and 
it was their first job. I had a career like for 19 years before I, I uh, made that choice to become professional drawing uh, artist. No, that, that that's pretty cool, man. You, well, you need to know. That. You need to. You need to. Yeah, you need to know when you're uh, confident and uh, uh, well, towards certain things, and also need to know when you're humble toward guys that have, are way more experienced, and and that's all balance in the end. Cool. Now, Tom. Last time we uh, we tried doing this shit. Uh, we uh we we talked about your book brother um let's go ahead and see if you if you got time let's promote that a little bit more <laughs> it's almost sold out actually oh, i i I didn't, I didn't pay that much attention i already working on some other pr project but it's it, this is it actually hey you're frozen no and, I'm not. Uh, or am i many many already saw it Feel like a hardcore album uh, about uh, eight and eight and a half by eleven inches. It's filled with uh, all my work, introduction stories, all kinds of stuff. Full color sketch cards, all my best pieces from uh, last two and a half years, and there are still a couple available. I'm patient with, uh, and the, in the end, uh, I did one limited edition. I'm not sure yet if I will do another. I probably, I might be uh, uh, going for a new version as well. Ah, there it is. <laughs> yes. And I also did some polls of, of uh, doing something similar with Dreambox fan art, but that's just. There are a lot of ideas and you need to, like, where are you going for, what are you, not, uh, what are you going to skip? Uh, all about making choices. But that's something that is on my mind too, uh, doing it just beside all the other work. And that's cool too to promote DBC, but also a lot of uh, people and artists that are already have been involved with some really cool art and make a book, just compile as a group. Because uh, there are plenty of people that have been really cool towards my ideas and uh, drew my characters. And I'm always been, even though I can give some critiques as feedback, like hey, what you could have improved or whatnot, I'm really proud that uh, and and honor that so many people draw them already so yeah yeah why not, let's, why not, let's actually why not put it out in a book in the end but it's all about yeah how much time do you have and how much patience yeah definitely and uh for you guys that don't know what we're talking about or guys who just joined in we are talking about the Dreambox comics uh if you guys haven't hit it up the link is down below right there pinned up uh, so yeah, there, there's been a lot of artists, dude. Uh, I'm definitely digging one of my personal favorites is, uh, that, that Rick Wilkinson, you know, he's definitely <laughs> fucking, his yeah, well, style, that, dude, is, it's fucking amazing, dude. I love it personally. I think, I think he, he's really realistic with his approaches. Uh, he told me he's, he just turned 50, uh, last Friday? Oh, wow. Well, happy birthday. Belated birthday if he's watching. <laughs> when? And, uh, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, he knows how to uh, respect a certain design, too. That's something that I do appreciate. No word. Also, uh, Tim With Smith is pretty dope. Yeah, we've been in touch for a long time, and he told me a couple times that he would like to draw Ceratoid, and now he, because he's an art teacher as well, 
Oh, okay. Um, and maybe it's due to the whole Corona situation. <laughs> oh. That he actually has some time now uh, because he's combining his teaching and his own art. Uh, that's what I saw so far. But I think he, and it's funny, someone that, uh, someone that takes his profession and his art serious, nine times out of ten, I see a lot that don't get that much attention on their accounts, where the some really, sh let's say this really nice, less <laughs> experienced <laughs> and, and, nice, and, and good artists show less quality, but they've been investing tons of times on getting likes and followers and game parties and all that stupid stuff that is not how I like to approach uh, social media, get way more attention where in the end, I think selling your stuff and, and, and putting out quality is a lot more important. And it's not about following... Uh, uh, yeah. 5,000 people to get 7,000 followers and, and all kinds of likes because those likes don't pay your bills in the end. They don't? No, but that's something that a lot of people still have to learn and uh, something they, are, they get fame out of it. I've said it before. The guys but lied to me. They said that should never be the main reason to do this kind of thing. Put your... Uh, very best in your work and your love and if it, in the end genuine, genuine people but also people that want to buy stuff see that from you what uh what about you what's one of your uh favorite artists here bringing in some of the uh the, the work okay hey, uh, um because i know him for now, nah, probably since August, September 2016, it's my fellow guy from DBC, Chikari. It's an awesome yeah. person. He's a, he takes care of his mom, where he, and I've been through a lot of hard times. Always came back to me. Always, we have such a, a huge click when it comes to uh, ideas. Uh, the way he colors, because he's done a lot of collaborations with me. That stupid fly again, you saw it? <laughs> I saw it. We saw it this time, dancing around. <laughs> and, uh, Watch yeah. it on the show, man. Uh, we, we grow uh, simultaneously. Uh, um and that's probably why we understand each other so well and why we still keep working together, even though some stuff are, are just for the fun of it. But that's really important too. Next to, on, on, on Instagram, yeah, my biggest example, Romano Molnar, <laughs> fellow, Dutch, fellow Dutch artist, uh, he, I can show you some of his stuff. Here, this is something that he drew. Oh, nice. That's the comic I collect, and I've been a fan of for like uh, 30 years already. And he took over uh, that, that. At first, he just did the uh, uh, pencil work, and somebody else colored it. And now he does uh, it all by himself, I believe. But he worked for DC as well, uh, and for a couple other uh, Dutch companies that are pretty famous. So. That's, some, that's a person that I've always been uh, checking out and that whole comic changed my, or gave me a lot of inspiration with my own first ideas. Uh, yeah. 
Right? It's actually more a graphic novel uh, than a comic. Okay. That's dope. That's very, very, I, I, very dope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill a fly. Do it. Do it. We'll watch. <laughs> we'll, 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 put that, we'll, put, we'll put that little music in the background. <laughs> Oh. Oh man. Fuck, I even felt that, dude. Yeah. This is good. Have you ever you ever seen the movie The Shining? Yep. Uh I watched it yesterday. I uh, showed my little girl. She's 8. And No uh, way. Yeah, yeah. She she wanted to watch it. And yeah. You know you know the little boy, he goes, he talks like this. Yeah. Red rum, red rum. Red rum. Yeah. So, you know, I was, I was, she's like, oh my God, that's so freaky. And I started doing it. I'm like, hey, yeah, we're going to get you. And she's like, stop, I'm scared. And I kept doing it. Next thing I know, I see this big old little hand just come across my face and boom, got me right in the face. <laughs> Slapped the <laughs> shit out of me. Like stop it, Dad! <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? It caught me off guard, man. All I all I did was laugh my ass off. I didn't know what else to do. Man, I was I was gonna ask you something, man, because uh, because I had uh, I, I was talking to another artist the other day. You know, we were talking about uh, just art, and yeah. uh, he he wasn't really under. He didn't really understand fan art, you know, as a, as in general, you know. Um, you know, had a little discussion. He's all like, "Oh, you know, why is it that artists should be doing more more original work?" And you know, I'm like, "Hey, it's, it's fan art, you know. Fan art, it's uh, it, it's for the fans, you know. They they there's a market for it, and so people take their you know their their work, their skills." on that side and to that journey, you know? And hey, I, fan, fan art can still be original if you approach it properly. Yeah, that's that's what I told him. He he wasn't really understanding. For me, there's a huge difference in fan art that you just redraw something that already exists or you come up with uh, a new pose, uh, some new ideas and respect the original design because that's something that a lot of people can't do. I hear that. Because you need to still be placing certain things at certain places where you don't have a reference for it, but you need to be able to turn uh, objects in your mind and that takes a lot of training and practice and breaking down every single muscle, uh, 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 spikes, whatever you need to draw. And before you are capable of coming up with your own original fan art, you had, need, had, uh, you had many practice hours, so it's not that easy. If you can come up with your own ideas, that's something extra, but that takes... Maybe even more of your oh, time. For sure. And uh, for anybody that's still watching, uh, if you guys got any questions, man, you yeah, definitely feel free to hop in, make comments, and uh, or ask, ask Tom, man, stuff that, that you guys haven't asked before that I haven't touched on. Um, but back to this conversation, you know, yeah, he they were just saying that, you know, it's uh, – that. You know, it's like, how does one really, really progress or, or, uh, um, you know, how do they hone in on their skills if they're just doing nothing but other people's con or characters, you know? And I, I told them the same thing you told me. I'm like, I'm like, hey, well, there's a market for it at the end. You know, it's something that an artist uh, enjoys doing. So therefore, they will keep on doing it. And, you know, it's like everything else. There's a difference between... Um, how you said, you know, there's a difference between just copying somebody else's work and then actually creating new fan art. You know what I mean? Oof. 
and uh yeah i mean that that was it you know i that, told that, is, that is something that is starting to bother me more and more the more you do it yourself and i see that with other experienced guys too like so many people completely redraw and i actually mentioned something about it in the post too if you do that no problem with it but actually mention it because then you're truly honest and you give some credits uh to the original creator too because he did a lot of more training and harder work than the guy that has been uh redrawn but no not everybody is aware of it and others just want to uh call they made something and uh, want to take all credits that's just your own mindset but i'd rather be honest about it in the no. end, in the in the end people will start seeing that and if you uh, if say stuff and you can't uh, keep your promises uh, well <laughs> that will back fire on you as well now for sure uh, yeah yeah we definitely you know we definitely know people like that i definitely know people like that and uh like i tell people well, that's, yeah, that's something yeah, like, it, it is nothing wrong with it because every person that likes to draw starts like that some even trace stuff and i see that a lot with digital artists too and mm-hmm. when you see a lot of art uh and a lot of art the people that really love art or want to buy it, they s- start to recognize certain images so who are you fooling in the end Yeah, if sure. you, you just copy uh, you just trace line work uh, completely <laughs> well <laughs> that will come out eventually yeah no and uh, you know I, i mean there's nothing wrong with that like for me personally you know i, I no, never trace never trace never trace myself i i plenty read rose from my side and uh, from especially in in the beginning of my career but i actually would mention it or uh post something about it if, if if there's an instagram account and i know the person i will tag him but that or you always need to have your practice and you, to start understand but if you practice all your shapes as well and that's a completely different approach you you will start understand it is not that easy to come up with real original stuff now for sure and i don't know i need to tell you that kind of stuff though <laughs> you you draw you know you've drawn my own my characters and uh, you came pretty close and i told you, what you 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 could improve and what i really dig about it so Definitely a challenge, man. I I, I think I, I I'm gonna take that challenge up again. Um, yeah, yeah, I am. Um, you know, I, I this time I think I might paint it. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I've been in the painting mode well, for the in, past couple you're of weeks. You're in watercolor. You're doing watercolor as well, right? Uh, I do watercolor, acrylics. Water. And now we're now we're doing chatting with Tom. Chatting with Tom right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Chatting, chatting with Tom featuring the old Zim Zimmer. Chatting and drawing with Tom and Zim. Tom and I, I like that. I like the sound of that. After that, that's another podcast in the making right there. Yeah, well. It's not that I can't host. I it's not that I can't host. I'd rather be drawing. <laughs> yeah. Everybody everybody his own uh, preferences. And uh remember remember I told you I wanted to do a little something with uh with the like speed dating but with speed interviews. Yeah. I remember you doing it on, on uh one of your drive back, uh, back home from work I believe. It was last it, it was this week actually wasn't it something I, i mentioned that i haven't really yeah. done it but i mentioned it so let's go ahead and start it with you man i'm uh i'm taking a little piece off of uh thalo halo's interview that he did 
uh, with me. I saw that one on the, on YouTube, almost the complete one, I, and I really dig that because yeah, yeah, uh, that was badass. Lou, 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 it's Lou, right? Lou yeah. Gabriel. Yeah, it seems a really cool guy to me, and yeah, I think guy. I think he was actually one of the f well first fifty of my followers, I guess. Oh, okay. Right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the cool guy. So uh, let's go ahead and give you a rapid fire question, man. This is this is nothing. I don't want any explanation. Just just the answer. All right. So let's let's go ahead. You ready for this? Yeah, go. Let's see if I can uh, keep up. Let's see. Uh, what song makes you instantly happy? Scientist, Coldplay. Scientist. All right. What music do you hate? Hate. No room for hatred in my life. Oh, dislike. Dislike the most. The slightly uh, well, probably. Ooh, shit! Instant. Uh, that would be some some Dutch. Uh, uh, <laughs> some Dutch. Dutch songs that you hear a lot with the people from. Uh, Uh, how do you call them? They live in those uh, uh, movable houses. Yeah, oh. kind of <laughs> like the trailer trash type. <laughs> that, yeah, well, if you would, yeah. <laughs> cool. Now, uh, for pencils, it's not my cup of tea. No. Uh. Pencils, wooden or mechanical? Wooden. Huh. Um, for sketch cards, for sketch cards, mechanical. Ah, nice, nice. Uh, but if you if you know how to sharpen your pencils, you can uh, get thinner lines with woodens in the end, even thinner than uh, with your mechanical. But you can, uh, how do you call that? Use like a bit bit of. Uh, Uh, scrap paper? What mm -hmm. is it? But in the end, both are good. Uh, Copics or Copics, however you like to pronounce them, are they worth the cost or are they overrated? Ooh, tricky. Worth the cost or overrated, my friend? Uh, I think that you should use your gut feeling and try them out first uh, before you... No! <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like to, I don't like to say nasty things about... Uh, no, uh, I know there are similar alcohol-based markers that I really like to work with, but... Copics are really cool too, and they are refillable in the end. So both have a disadvantage, get empty, and you need to buy new ones. Uh, there's always balance. So, yeah, is it worth That's your own choice in the end. Cool. Uh, your favorite curse word? Curse word? Yeah. Oh, probably. I don't curse that much. Yeah, well, fuck is. <laughs> <laughs> if I no, but if I talk in Dutch, it's probably shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> we use that word too. <laughs> uh, how, how is it said? It, how is it said in Dutch? Shit. Shit. Yeah, shit. Simple as that, people. Yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what profession other than your own right now would you like to attempt? Hmm. Ah, 
Yeah, uh, Formula One driver. Oh fuck, man! That's that's a nice answer, dude. That's badass. Uh, I like to. I've 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 had a uh, race track driving hobby for a long time. I told you about my Lancia Delta, I believe. But I said that all those projects aside, uh, way before I became an artist and when I got kids, it, it's I, a, it is really expensive. But I enjoyed it for um, having that as a hobby next to my normal work and, and to go race on tracks, uh, on, on famous tracks as well, like Nordschleife. Uh, probably everybody that has something yeah. to do with ra uh, with uh, car racing knows Grand that track. Grand Turismo. Grand Turismo. Yeah, well, I've, I've driven it three times in my life. Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Always like excitement. It also takes a lot of focus, and it's pretty cool to be able to drive as fast as you can with a cool car. So Is that's, it, something, that's something that you would never ever forget in your whole life. That formula. That's that's that sh that Schumacher in you right there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, Schumacher was a huge fan. We have a, a really talented Dutch guy that. Uh, won some Grand Prix lately as well. Dope. Um, well called, called Max Verstappen, but many probably know the, the name that is in, that are into the kind of racing. But I know you Americans are more like the ovals and IndyCar and NASCAR. I'm more I like... That, that's high-speed driving, but... Uh, for me, the other stuff is way more complicated with all the turns and stuff. You're only doing this, just turning one way. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. It takes less skill. <laughs> it takes less skill. I, I love elevations, curves. I love yeah. it all, you know? And uh, last question to finish it off, man. If, uh, if heaven exists, uh, I'm not sure if you're a big religious guy, but if you believe in God, but... If you do, what would you like God to say when you arrive at the gates? <laughs> oh, this is one for a creative answer. <laughs> uh, I've been raised Catholic, but if I would have a religion, I would probably become a Buddhist. Um, what would he ask me when I was at the gate? Or what would I tell him? What would you like to hear him say when you arrive there? Finally? Ah. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> Finally. know. <laughs> Finally, Tom. Fucking hate it. <laughs> no, that's dope, dude. Um. Uh, we're getting close to the uh, last two minutes of the show. I don't know if you want to continue or... Well, I don't care. <laughs> I'm having fun. A good thing kind of distracts you too. Like, uh, and it's about, uh, there's always time for fun too. I'm just having... I'm working on a fun drawing, having a good talk with you. But I've, uh, many people know me as a... Uh, pretty serious guy too when it comes to a lot of stuff yeah, and yeah. need to keep having that balance and a bit of fun uh, once in a while is cool too but that can only work when you got your shit together too you can't <laughs> ignore that either good shit so I think uh, well that's one vote uh, Bruce 13 says to keep it going so, thanks man uh, so we're definitely going to go ahead, and uh, if you want to go ahead and host it again, uh, definitely jump in. At least we'll, we'll try half an hour, and if we feel like going more, then we'll do that. How's that sound? Yeah, because Shikari dropped out in the end, so I'm cool with it. Yeah, I yeah, he uh, had a reschedule, so... Um, oh, yeah, it says, like, yeah, we only got 24 seconds uh, left, the, so, the maximum amount of time, right? So there it is, guys. Let's uh, go ahead and let's hop out, and uh, we'll. I will. I will. Uh, I will end this show right now. 
save it, put it in my story, so I will be able to save it for you. 